हेलो वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन इन प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कम्युनिकेशन प्रैक्टिकल सेशन सो इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी आर गोइंग टू सी द रेडिएशन पैटर्न ऑफ डायपोल एंटेना सो इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी हैव टू प्लॉट द रेडिएशन पैटर्न ऑफ डायपोल एंटेना सो इन द लेक्चर इन द थियरी पार्ट वी हैव सीन द रेडिएशन पैटर्न ऑफ डायपोल एंटेना इज बाय डायरेक्शनल इन नेचर एज वी कैन सी इट इज गिवन इन अवर मैनुअल ऑल्सो दिस इज द सैम इन अवर मैनुअल इट इज शोन द सैम्पल ऑफ रेडिएशन पैटर्न ऑफ डायपोल एंटेना सो द रेडिएशन पैटर्न ऑफ डायपोल एंटेना इज बाय डायरेक्शनल इन नेचर इट इज अ फिगर ऑफ एट and the plane of uh, and 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 the radiation is always perpendicular to the plane of dipole so if the dipole antenna is placed in the vertical direction so the radiation pattern will always be in uh, horizontal direction so this is the radiation pattern which is uh, which is also given in our manual the radiation pattern of dipole antenna is bidirectional in nature that is a figure of 8 so similar radiation pattern we have to plot in our uh in in manual in this experiment also so for uh, for this we have to just take the uh, different different angles rotation and note down the reading of current received by the receiving antenna as you are able to see this is the practical setup of dipole antenna what we are doing in this particular experiment this is the dipole antenna the dipole antenna it is nothing but two uh, dipoles so this is the dipole antenna and this is one the receiving antenna so dipole antenna is going to radiate the uh, rf rf current and the rf current is going to be received by this receiving antenna and with the help of this meter we are able to see the receiving uh, rf current reading so what we are doing actually in this particular uh, ex, uh, antenna setup uh, this is the generator rf generator from where uh, the rf generator is used for generating the radio frequency so this radio frequency current it is applied to this antenna with the help of this probe we are giving the input to this antenna dipole antenna and uh, this dipole antenna is going to radiate the radio frequency and this uh, radiated energy is going to be received by receiving antenna and with the help of this meter we are going to receive its current value so for dipole antenna we are getting maximum radiation in two different direction so for dipole antenna we are getting maximum radiation in two different direction to opposite direction as uh, you can see now uh, in this current meter it is showing it is receiving the current up to 44.44 point something micro ampere so this particular uh, at this position at this angle of rotation this current is receiving the current up to 44 now the angle of rotation is now placed at 0 degree so 0 degree it is uh, showing the current meter is showing it is receiving of current 44 micro ampere now i am going to change the angle of rotation for example from 0 degree i am changing its uh, position so as i am going to change its position now the current receiving is going to be slightly reduced now previously it was 44 now it is showing something to be near about 37 38 39 so as i am goes on uh, changing its position from uh, away from 0 degree so there will be a reduction in the current receiving also now i have placed the angle of rotation now 90 degree so at 90 degree here the meter is showing the current receiving is up to 1.3 1.4 1.5 or uh, something near about to be 3 so as i am goes on increasing the angle of rotation now as i am moving towards the 180 degree uh once again i am reaching towards the 180 degree now i am placing the angle of rotation to 180 degree as i have kept the 180 now for 180 degree it is showing uh, the current reading is 50 micro ampere so previously for uh, 0 degree also we are uh, getting 44 micro ampere now i have placed the angle of rotation up to uh, 180 degree so for 180 degree also i am getting the current is same as 0 uh, degree that is uh, 44 50 is uh, slightly fluctuating so we have to see just only that it is also uh, getting the maximum current value because the current receiving is going to be fluctuate so as i am going to change again now i am moving towards the zero degree angle so the current value is going to be reduce this current value is going to be reduce as i am moving towards the zero degree angle now i am changing the zero degree angle rotation so once again i am reaching to the 0 degree angle 0 degree angle it is going to increase its current value so once again i am reaching to the 0 degree angle 
as I am approaching towards the 0 degree angle that is uh, 360 degree angle again the current value is going to be increased. So in this way now I am reaching to 0 degree angle I am getting the maximum current. So previously I am getting 44 now once again I am getting the 44 this current value. So in this way uh, this uh, dipole antenna is showing maximum radiation into opposite direction and once we are uh, moving away from that direction the current value is going to be reduced. So I have also taken the reading in our manual, in my manual, the dipole antenna observation table. So this is the uh, observation table for dipole antenna as we are able to see in my experiment, uh, I have done the experiment for 0 degree, I, have, I was received 66 current value. Similarly for 360 also, I received 66 uh, current value as I am moving uh, away from this 0 degree uh, to the 180 degree. So 180 degree, I have received uh, another maximum value that is 25. So in this way I am getting uh, the maximum radiation into opposite direction only one at 0 degree or 360 degree that is maximum current value and other one the maximum value the second highest va maximum value is near to the 180 degree region or 360 degree region. So for this uh, also we have to convert this particular current value into the decibels dB. So for dB uh, we have to take again the current maximum value IMAX value. So what is the maximum? value in all this particular table so the maximum value the current maximum value which we are receiving is uh, 66 so this is the maximum current which we are receiving so for converting uh, the particular current a uh, value into the decibel just we have to take 10 log of 10 log of i upon i max so the current maximum value is 66 current uh, current value is 66 divided by maximum current value is also 66 so we you will get 0 db so in this way we are going to convert each and every current value in decibels so for example if i am going to convert this 25 reading 25 reading in decibels so for that purpose simply i have to take 10 log of the actual current reading now the actual current reading now is 25 divided by maximum of the current that is i max i max is 66 so 10 log of i divided by i max is the formula used to convert the particular current reading into the decibel so the decibel is minus 4.21 so for this current value is decibel is minus 4.21 in this way we are going to convert each and every current value into the decibel and this decibel value we have to plot it on the radiation pattern graph so this is the radiation pattern which I have plotted for my uh, reading, for my reading which I have obtained for the dipole antenna. So the, for this dipole antenna, the outermost circle is 0 dB. I have marked the second outermost circle as minus 5 dB, third minus 10, fourth minus 15. Similarly, you can mark also your decibel position. Now each and every point you have to take uh, on this particular uh, graph only. So for 0 degree, I am getting 0 dB. So 0 degree, I have plotted the 0 db point over here similarly for 30 degree I am getting uh, minus 7.05 db so for 30 degree minus 7 this is minus 5 circle so minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 will be here so I have uh, marked this point at 30 degree angle minus 7 db similarly uh, if you take example of uh, 180 degree so 180 degree uh, I am getting minus 4.21 db so 180 degree at 180 degree angle uh, I got minus 4 dB so minus 4 dB I have plotted over here so in this fashion you have to mark each and every point of your reading on this particular uh, graph and just uh, draw all the points you will get the radiation pattern like this so this is the radiation pattern of dipole antenna which is bi-directional in nature which we have seen in our manual also in our manual it has uh, given the radiation pattern of uh, dipole antenna as bi-directional in nature as bi-directional in nature so similar type of radiation pattern we also uh, got in our experiment so in this way we have plotted the radiation pattern of dipole antenna i hope you must be able to understood it properly if anything you are not uh, getting properly if you are not understanding properly you can comment me you can message me definitely i will explain you once again thank you very much for listening and watching uh, Please uh, watch and uh, understand it properly. Thank you very much.